and welcome back to the channel guys if you've been here before and you haven't already please hit that subscribe button down the bottom because your subscription really helps the channel grow leave a comment if you like to because that's always muchly appreciated but if it's your first time here the channel's name is scooter bomb and it's all about bringing back to life some unloved little scooters recap of where we've been last episode we pulled apart this little 49 cc horizontal minarelli motor it's from a 2006 yamaha jog cv50 it is the 5su model with the 5bm intake manifold this episode is all about this is stage 6 70 cc street race cylinder which is going to go on this motor and here it is, the cylinder kit. This one here is the crankshaft. So we'll push that aside for now and pull this open. Now I have already opened it. That is in a previous video as well. But here we have it in all its glory. A cylinder cylinder head, some pins and rings, and some gaskets. So for this video we won't need the head, the pins or rings, we're really just interested in the cylinder because we're going to see what needs to be done to make this fit? So we start off with offering the gasket up to the cylinder and as you can see it is a extremely good fit with pretty much no overhang into those ports but what else would you really expect of something of this quality? Um, this is exactly the reason why I bought this kit because it had such good reviews so we take the gasket off and then we offer it over to our motor now we have the base gasket on we can see where there's some modifications that will be required so just here just that little overhang there there's another one here, another one here, and a very small one here as well. So we will grind these out to allow a smooth passageway for the air to flow. Otherwise it will create like an eddy, a low pressure zone as the air comes up through here. It'll uh, circulate and won't make the most speed that it can to get through. So. To do this, we take our permanent marker and we just mark where we need to modify it just a bit. All right, very simple. Okay, so now that we've got the gasket off, you can see where we need to do our die grinding. We're just going to take it out to the edge. You might be asking, what's the point? Why not just bolt the cylinder straight down and be done with it? Well, I hear you. But uh, this engine, I wanted to take it as far as I could with the two uh, piston ring design. So I'm going to put the crankshaft into it and that crankshaft should allow for more revs. More revs should allow for more horsepower. And as we're this far into the motor, it makes total sense to do it. So if we do enough of these little one percenters here and there, one percent turns into two percent, turns into five percent, turns into 10%. By the time you've got 10%, 15% and maybe even 20%, you start to talk about some considerable improvements. So why not? From here, time to get busy with the die grinder.
we have just finished cutting out the excess aluminium straight out of the cases, uh, straight down to where our blue lines were. But from here, I'm probably gonna finish it off with these little files. Uh, I just feel I have a little bit more control with the file than I do with Mr. Die Grinder. So I'll pull apart the case again. Um, but before we do that, we might offer up our gasket and just see where it is in relation to our marks. Just double check it, I suppose. So let's have a look. As you can see, we are right there on the marks and it is looking pretty damn perfect. Right here is the small half of the case and uh, this was the area that we were working on right here. I don't know how well that shows up in the camera. But you can see on both sides We've done a pretty, a pretty good little job there, but it just needs a little bit more flowing, a little bit more tidying up, and then it will be perfect. Alright, I'm going to call that a job well done. Uh, again, I'm not sh exactly sure how it shows up on camera, but I've smoothed them all out with some 80 grit sandpaper there. I uh, did a fair bit on the file. I did attack it again with the die grinder. I don't think they need to be any smoother than 80 grit. You still want a little bit of turbulence in there to mix the fuel and air efficiently so that's the path that I'm going on and if you look over here you can see the same thing turn the light on again nice and smooth tried to smooth out all the corners there and just get a nice path for the air to run from here our next step for preparing this cylinder for this little motor here is make sure there is no burrs down inside there. All those little ports must be free of burrs. Now I have read that these cylinders are pretty good and require next to nothing. Can pretty much be bolted straight on and you won't have a problem. And I can see it's already been done on most of them but we'll just double check it make sure it's all proper before we uh, start to install it pretty happy with that. I think that is a job well done. I can't feel any burrs at all in there now. Not that I really could before, but I don't want to die wondering, so I always go every over everything, no matter how well anyone tells me it is. All right, one thing I have noticed is in the exhaust port, there's a few little rough marks in there. So I'm gonna clean that up as well. I hope that shows in the camera, but I've tidied up the exhaust port as well. So that's another little one percenter just there. And moving on. Now that we have ported the case to the cylinder, we have to port the cylinder to the exhaust. So the reason for that is if we use the gasket that um, Stage 6 provide with a cylinder, we can see here 
that there's a fair bit of a lip between the gasket and the cylinder itself. Not exactly a problem that, but if we use the gasket on the exhaust, we can see it's a direct fit. So what we've got is the cylinder is a smaller diameter than the exhaust. Now when we bolt the two together, as the expansion pipe is designed to do, it's meant to reverberate the pressure inside, back inside the cylinder, there's gonna be a little step and it's gonna act a little bit like a restrictor. So what we will do is we will mark the two up and then get busy on the die grinder again, porting the cylinder to the exhaust. All right, so we put the gasket down on the exhaust like so. And then again, we mark it with the texter. Just like so. And once we remove the gasket, we will see how far we need to attack it with the die grinder. All right, once we die grind out the cylinder, the cylinder and the exhaust are gonna be perfectly matched, allowing a smooth transition of air as they pass through both surfaces. Now, it's all about airspeed or air velocity. The quicker the air can move through, the more horsepower you can make. Alrighty, so we've just got busy with the die grinder and you can see there, it's all looking pretty good. It is right up against that blue line. I snuck on up on it very slowly with the die grinder. Um, from here, I'm just gonna get the hand file and smooth it all out. All right, so that's all finished now and it is lining up absolutely perfect with the gasket. One step to go. Now I filed it out with the hand file. Now I'm gonna smooth it out with the die grinder, just the little Dremel. And I have this little polishing wheel on it. It's like a seaweed disc. And that's pretty much it for this episode. Um, just to cover up what we've already done, we port matched the case to the cylinder and then the cylinder to the Yasuni C10 exhaust. Um, as I said before, it's all those little one percenters that make the, the difference and when you're trying to make horsepower, you're already this far into it, you might as well go for it. So from here, this is my first case build, my first time I've done any of this. So I think you can see it's not that difficult. You just need some of the tools to get it done. If you've learned something, you like the video, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button, leave a comment because it really does help the channel grow. And uh, as always, check out the Custom Scooters Australia page for more Aussie scooter content just like this one. And we will see you on the next video. Maybe we'll start assembling the motor. Maybe we will work on the body. Who knows? Anyway, thanks for watching. See you on the next one.